Hi guys! So this video we're going over more of the virtual band concert songs and in this video we're going to be going over number 34 and 51. So by now hopefully you're aware we're putting together a virtual concert for the end of the school year and in order to participate you have to pick one of the songs from the google form, practice it, record it, and send it to me by June 1st so we can put all the videos together and get it out to you, I think, around June 8th. And this week, all of the videos are going to be going over the different song choices. So we're going to look at number 34 first, which is one of our favorites, File Them Cabbage Down. And it's a silly name, I know, but it's such a fun song to play. And remember, this song has eighth notes and quarter notes in it. So we start right away with four eighth notes going to two quarter notes, which sounds like this. One and two and. and. It's very important that you get it right with the quarter notes and the eighth notes. And if we look at the rest of the first four measures, it follows that pattern. Four eighth notes, two quarter notes, four eighth notes, and then two more quarter notes. So I'm going to play those four measures for you. One and two and. And just practice those four measures over and over and over until it's stuck in your head and you really got it. Again, it sounds like this. the second half of the song, it changes a little bit. We start with four eighth notes, but then we have another four eighth notes. But you might notice it's the same notes as the first two measures. But instead of two quarter notes, you now have four eighth notes. So those two measures, you have this. One and two and. Pretty simple. And then the next measure, you have four eighth notes again, but they change notes. Flutes, you got Ds and Cs. Clarinets and trumpets, you have Bs and Ds. Saxophones, Bs and As. And that measure sounds like this. Practice it a bunch. And then your last two measures are your B flat if you're a flute or a trombone, your C if you're a clarinet or a trumpet, and your G if you're a saxophone. So putting those two measures together, you have one and two and. And if we put those four measures together and start at our breath mark, we have this. Now the last step is to put the whole song together and you will notice there is a repeat at the end. Remember those two dots are a repeat sign. So that means we have to go back, play it all again. So I'm going to play all of 34 for you with the repeat because it's short and it's so much fun to play. One and two and. So that's number 34, by Love Cabbage Down. A great choice if you want to do this for the concert. And then the other song we're going to go over today is 51, Frere Jaca, which you should have been practicing for the last week or so. So we're just going to take a quick look through here. There's already a video going over how to play it. And just be careful. The first line, you've got all quarter notes and half notes. You do have a bunch of slurs. You've got one, two, three, four slurs. 
but it's all quarter notes and half notes, so nothing too, too challenging in there. Then when you get to the second line, you have your eighth notes with a slur. And remember, you want to practice these separately first. So if I were to just look at that measure, and if it was me practicing it for the first time, I would just play the first two eighth notes. Not even with the slur. And then I'd add in the third one. And then the fourth one. And then the quarter notes. And once I have that really well in my fingers, I know what I'm doing, that's when I'll go back and add in that slur and practice it that same way. Because by the time I add in that slur, my fingers know what they're doing. They know the notes. So I took away that one element at first because it makes it a little trickier. Learn the notes, learn my fingers, then went back, added in that slur, and then it's so much easier than trying to do it from the beginning. But now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna play all of Frere Jaca for you. Again, if you need help with the notes, go back under the video tab. There's already a video going over this song. And you will see there's a repeat at the end. I'm not gonna take that repeat because the song is longer than the other one. So this is all of Frere Jaca. One, two. Just be careful of those slurs, be careful of the eighth notes in the second line, and just practice it. So these are two great song choices for you for the virtual spring concert that we're trying to put together. So now it is time to go practice, record, and send me your video once you're ready. So again, there are videos going over how to make a good video and how to send it to me. So take a look at the classroom page so that you know how to do that. If you have any questions, please feel to reach out. I hope this is helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.